Hello, this is Philip Myers of PEMI Consulting. I have a safety moment for you about handling and storing dangerous chemicals. However, I am not showing you how to do it or what you should do. Rather, I'm showing you how I do it and what some of the considerations are for undertaking this type of a task. I used to have dangerous chemicals like in a bottle like this and I've been concerned about that storage for a number of years. First of all, a bottle like this can be dropped and shatter and spray a significant amount of content all over you. Would PVC bottles work? Uh, they have their disadvantages. Heat can degrade them. Time will cause the plasticizers to come out. It can actually react with certain chemicals. So PVC isn't so great for the particular chemicals I'm talking about. And then the ones I have are these two bottles, plus I have some more. And I won't tell you what they are. And the reason for withholding that is because there's no general procedure that works for everything. You have to know the chemistry of the specific chemical that you're dealing with, its hazards and properties. And so that's why I don't want to give you a general procedure. There isn't a general procedure that works in every and all cases. But there are a few general principles, and one of them is to have a, a more robust storage container. So this bottle, you can see that's a little viscous. viscous. If I were to drop this, it wouldn't break. The glass could break, but the outer plastic should contain it, or at least reduce the amount of splashing and spilling. I've also uh, have a smaller size, so quantity is important as well. Now to store it for long-term purposes, I made this plywood box. You can see I have the skull and crossbone symbols to warn people or whoever comes across this that this is dangerous. I plan to keep this away from kids, pets, animals, or uh, nosy adults. This box has uh, 12 bays in it with these quarter inch plywood separators. Notice this buffering here. In case of an impact on the side, I wanted to make sure it could uh, buffer that from the bottles. And the bottles are each have this uh, bay to protect it. So they fit in like this. The bottom has a quarter inch plywood and it's grooved into the uh, walls of the box so that it's quite strong. And then <clears throat> these are finger joints. There's a lot of glue area so they're very strong but these are uh, so-called finger joints and they have a lot of uh, surface area. A little bit tricky to make but not all that bad. You can do this fairly easily if you have a table saw. So that's my safety moment on chemicals. And again, if you're going to handle any chemicals, learn all about it, what all the hazards are, and take every precaution you can. Here are some considerations for dealing with chemicals. First, you want to be knowledgeable about the properties, the hazards, and recommendations in the literature. Chemicals are, have a personality and you have to be aware of the quirks that they have so that you don't get surprised or harmed by them. It's a good idea to always use a well-ventilated area. So if you're transferring some acid in your garage, uh, make sure you keep the doors open and possibly even a fan. It's good to have water available in larger quantities than what your chemicals are. Water turns out to be almost universally useful to flush out uh, chemicals if they get on you to dilute them and so on. That's not always the case, but in most cases it is. And of course, use PPE, all the appropriate and recommended protective equipment. Another idea is to minimize the storage size of your containers. I did that for the glass bottles, a gallon of acid is too large, so I 
split it up into quart size pint bottles. And those bottles, as you saw, were polyethylene coated bottles, quite interesting and not available years ago when I got that acid. Properly label hazardous chemicals. That can be a challenge when chemicals tend to eat up labels, so it's very important to keep putting the labels on if they are disintegrating. And most important is keep the stuff secured away from animals, pets, children, family members, and the public. Thank you.